As the COVID-19 pandemic has shown, international collaboration among scientists is critical. But that's nothing new. The Lindau Nobel Laureate Meeting has been bringing together scientists from around the world since 1951. Back then, in the fallout of World War II, the idea of scientists working together was not taken for granted. Indeed, many feared the exact opposite. In Lindau, Franz Karl Hein and Gustav Wilhelm Parade came up with the idea of bringing together researchers and Nobel laureates from across Europe. They aimed to bring an end to Germany's scientific isolation. The two physicians approached Swedish royal family member Count Lennart Bernadotte to become a co-founder. He showed great enthusiasm for their idea and brought in his valuable contacts and support. Count Lennart became president of the council. He would come to significantly influence the following decade's meetings. In 1987, he was succeeded by his wife, Countess Sonia, who focused on internationalizing participation. And in 2008, their daughter, Countess Bettina, became president of the council. The new millennium brought several landmark events. The first interdisciplinary meeting was held, and the Foundation Lindau Nobel Laureate Meetings was established through 50 Nobel laureates in memory of Count Lennart. Activities today include the Lindau Science Trail, also aimed at young researchers, the Lindau Media Tech with free online educational materials, the Lindau Alumni Network, the Platform Mentoring Hub, and the Lindau Exhibitions, such as the Nobel Portraits and the Sketches of Science. In the age of global challenges, the mission of the Lindau Nobel Laureate Meetings lives on. Educating, inspiring and connecting is more important and relevant than ever. 70 years ago, the founders had a dream, and that dream endures in the scientists and Nobel laureates of the future.